Hi, Sarah here from Cycle Maintenance Academy. Today we're going to have a look at through axles, what they are and what they do. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Right, let's start. The axle is the rod that goes through the hub of the wheel and allows the wheel to spin. Up until 2005, wheels were secured to the frame and forks with a nut each side or a quick release skewer going through the axle. There are still many bikes that are using one of these two systems, but increasingly we are seeing a different system for attaching wheels to a bike. The through axle. The through axle was developed for the US market originally, so that's why we use the American spelling of through. There are different ways that the through axle is loosened and tightened. The most common one is the one we are going to be looking at today. It has a handle that looks like a quick release lever. If you're not sure if you have a through axle or a quick release lever, then have a look at the opposite side of the handle. If the end of the axle is flush with the dropout, then it is a through axle. If there is a piece protruding, then it is a quick release lever. The advantages of a through axle are there is no chance of the wheel pulling out, even with the force of the disc brake, because the wheel is bolted into one side of the frame. The front wheel is more stable because of the thicker axle. This stability helps to stop the disc brake rubbing. Because the through axle locates exactly in position in the dropout, putting the wheel on is easy and you don't have to turn the bike upside down. The disadvantages are, if you remove your front wheel to fit it onto your car rack, you will have to buy an adapter as most car racks are designed around the U-shaped dropouts. If your axle gets damaged, you can only replace it with another through axle of the same diameter, length and thread. How to undo and remove a through axle with the lever. First, hold the fork with your left hand. Now release the lever by pulling it away from the fork. Find the slot in the outer ring, called the wedge, and fit the lever onto it. Now the lever is engaged and you can use it to unscrew the axle. Turn the lever anti-clockwise with your right hand, four to five revolutions. Pull the axle towards you until it comes clear out of the hub. The wheel is now ready to be removed. How to fit and lock a through axle with the lever. Hold the fork steady with your left hand. With your right hand firmly but carefully push the axle through the dropout and then through the hub until it stops. Make sure it has gone through all the way. Now start screwing the axle clockwise until it is tight. Grip the lever and give it a final tighten. Push the lever into its final position. Thanks for watching and if you like what we do, check out our online cycle maintenance courses. The link is below this video.